Hey everybody, it's Shannon from Crossroads Camp and Retreat Center. We are really missing you here at camp, but we do have some fun activities that you can do at home. So for today's activity, we're gonna be making paper friendship bracelets. For the paper friendship bracelets, you'll need a ruler, a pencil, some masking tape or a paper clip, and some paper. With the paper, you're more than welcome to add some more color and designs with watercolors, markers, or colored pencils, etc. This paper that we're using is scrapbook paper that we got from the Creation Center. And you also need scissors. The first step in making your very own paper friendship bracelet is to cut your paper into strips. The dimensions we used were 12 centimeters across by three centimeters down. To make sure the strips are even, we used a pencil and ruler to trace the lines, and then we just cut across the lines. The amount of paper strips you need depends on how big you want your bracelet. For our bracelet, we used around 15. Now that our paper is cut into strips, shake out your hands because the next part we get to do is fold. The first fold you want to do is fold your paper in half hot dog style, but make sure that the color is on the outside. Once you have that fold, the next fold you do is you're going to fold your paper in half hamburger style, like that. It starts to get a little tricky now. It did take us a few times to get this right, but once you get it right, this will be a piece of cake. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take two strips of paper and you're going to slip one strip inside the other, like so. And you're gonna make a little T. When you put the strip, make sure that the fold is on one side and the other fold is at the top. So then you have the flaps down here. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the flaps or the tail and you're gonna fold it up towards the other strip of paper, like so. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna fold the strip of paper up. So you see how it makes a little diagonal there? And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna flip it over and you're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So again, you're gonna fold the paper up towards the other strip, like so. And then you're gonna fold it up to the middle, like that. And then you're gonna take your piece of tape and you're just gonna tape these down, like that, or your paper clip. So now that you have your first fold, you're gonna see that you made a little loop up here. And that's how you're gonna keep continuing the bracelet and how they'll actually stay together. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your next strip of paper and you're gonna make sure that the fold side is up and you're gonna stick it inside of the loop you just made. It takes a little finagling, but once you have it, you got it. So then once you have the loop, it through the loop, you're gonna fold it just like how you did before. So you're gonna fold one tail part up towards the previous strip, and you're gonna fold it up. But this time what you're gonna do is to secure it, you're going to stick it inside right here of the previous strip so that way it's nice and secure. So that way uh, your bracelet will stay together and it won't need to be held by glue or tape or anything. So once you have that side done, you're gonna do it on the same exact, on the other side, the same exact thing. So fold it once up towards the strip and then fold it up and then you're gonna stick it through the loop. It's nice and secure. And you're just gonna keep doing that until you have it as long as you want. As you're making it, you want to make sure that you measure your bracelet around your wrist so that way it's big enough. Once it wraps around and you feel comfortable with it, then you know that you're ready to finish it. An important thing to notice is that the bracelet should look like a zigzag, so it should go up, down, up, down, up, down. You want to make sure that the first piece and the last piece are, piece are both in the same direction, so either they're both down or they're both up. That'll make sure that the zigzag continues when you finish it. So how you finish it is what you're going to do is you're gonna take your tape off or your paper clip. So once your tape is removed, you're gonna connect the first and last pieces. 
So you're gonna make it into a loop and then you're gonna put your first tail into the last loop and you're gonna slide it up just like you did the other ones. So the last part you have to do is just to do the final fold. So as you've been doing by now, uh, since this whole time, so you're a pro at it, you're just gonna do the same fold as you did before. So up towards it and fold in and then slide it. You're just gonna do one, not two. So you're gonna take it up, slide it in just like before. And then you're gonna do the same thing on the inside. And there you have it, one complete paper friendship bracelet. Thanks for watching and creating with Crossroads. Make sure you take a picture of your own paper friendship bracelet and tag Crossroads Camp and Retreat Center on Facebook and Instagram. We have a ton of more activities coming your way, so tune in Wednesday for a nature activity. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye.